in the 13th chapter of Matthew, we find Jesus in Nazareth, his hometown, uh, teaching in synagogues. Um, and as he was teaching, uh, people began to wonder, certain individuals began to wonder, how was Jesus able to teach the way he taught and know the things that he knew, being that he was from Nazareth uh, and being that his father was a carpenter. Uh, and so they believed that since Jesus was of a certain group or uh, he was uh, the son of a certain person, that he shouldn't be able to do those things and being that he never went to school. Um, and, and so as it goes in verse 58, it says that Jesus was not able to do uh, many miracles there except lay his hands on a few people because of the unbelief. Listen, uh, there are many times that God wants to do things in your life. God is willing to do and certainly is able to do things in your life. But it is our unbelief and not his willingness that keeps those blessings from coming our way, that keeps uh, God from doing what he really wants to do in our life simply because we do not believe. Uh, and so uh, when you come uh, come up a time in your life where you feel like you don't understand or uh, things are hard to uh, conceive, I want you to hunker down in your faith and belief in Christ, belief in God, and know that God is still willing and able to do exceedingly and abundantly more than you could ever ask or think. So don't lose faith. Don't lose hope in what God can do, uh, even when it seems like it's not able to be done. Hold on to your faith and continue to trust in the Lord.